can I be evicted right now? Can somebody actually kick me out of my house? Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. I know we're experiencing some really uncertain times right now. And because of what's going on right now, unfortunately there's a lot of people out there that have lost their jobs or their income has been significantly reduced. And they're finding it a huge challenge now to pay either their rent or their mortgage. And everybody deserves to have a roof over their heads. So one of the questions I'm sure a lot of you out there have is, if I don't pay my rent or I don't pay my mortgage, if somebody kicked me out of my house during all of this? If that's one of your concerns, I've got some good news for you. This past March 19th, our governor, Governor Phil Murphy, signed into legislation the eviction and foreclosure moratorium. <laughs> This went into effect immediately, and this will stay in effect for the entire length of time that we are in a declaration of public and health um, emergency. And this will continue for no longer than two months once that public and health and safety emergency has been removed. So the short answer to this is no, you cannot get kicked out during this pandemic for not paying your rent or not paying your mortgage. So then the question is, should I just stop paying my rent or my mortgage? And the answer I'm gonna to say to that is no. Don't just stop paying. While you can't be kicked out during the pandemic, if you don't make any arrangements now for your rent or for your mortgage and you just decide you're gonna stop paying it, once this emergency order is released, your landlord or your mortgage servicer can start those proceedings and there will be consequences for not paying. I'm actually gonna read exactly what it says in the Governor's Order 106. Any leasee, tenant, homeowner, or any other person shall not be removed from a residential property as the result of an eviction or foreclosure proceeding. While eviction and foreclosure proceedings may be initiated or continued during the time this order is in effect, enforcement of all judgments for possession, warrants of removal, and writs of possession shall be stayed while this order is in effect, unless the court determines on its own motion or motion of the parties that enforcement is necessary in the interest of justice. This order does not affect any schedule of rent that is due. So this is really important. So basically what this says is no, they're not going to kick you out of your house, but eviction and foreclosure proceedings may be initiated and continued during this process. They just can't be enforced. But I can tell you right now, if you're already in an eviction or foreclosure proceeding and they continue moving that along, once this order gets released, they are going to move forward with completing that process. So while you may not be kicked out now during the pandemic, you can get kicked out after the pandemic is over. So here's my advice. If you are somebody that's experiencing financial hardship and you're currently a renter and you can no longer pay your rent, call your landlord now. Call them right now. Don't wait. See if there's something that you can work out with them. Explain the situation and see if there's some sort of an agreement you guys can come up with together. Whether that's you, once you get back on your feet, some sort of a repayment plan for the missed rent. I've even spoken with several landlords that at this point would rather have their tenant come to them and break the lease without any penalties, giving the landlord an option to re-rent the property right now, instead of having you stay in the property and not paying and then eventually having to go through an eviction process. So really at this point, it's in your best interest to try to work something out with a landlord now up front. And whatever you agree to, get it in writing. No matter what you agree to, whether that's a repayment, whether that's you know breaking the lease without penalties, whatever it is you agree to, get it in writing. And if you're a homeowner that has a mortgage, call your loan servicer right now. See if there's anything you can work out with them. See if they're offering any sort of forbearance on the mortgage but make sure you confirm what the repayment plan will look like. And I've made a whole video about explaining what mortgage forbearance is specifically. I'll include a link below and in the description box, but make sure you understand what the repayment plan is going to look like after the forbearance ends or see if they'll allow you to make partial payments. There's a lot of mortgage servicers out there, mortgage companies and banks that really, they don't wanna go through a foreclosure process. They would rather keep you in the home and try to work with you on some sort of a repayment. 
Keep in mind too, if you have any sort of other payment arrangements with your bank, and they are also responsible for paying things like your homeowner's insurance and your property taxes, please continue to pay those items. Otherwise, your escrow account with a mortgage company will end up short at the end of the year and you'll owe a big chunk of money there. So understand exactly what goes into your mortgage payment, what is gonna be delayed or reduced or partial payments, and go from there. I just wanna say, regardless of what your situation is, there are options out there. It is never a good idea just to not call anybody, not say anything, just stop paying and think it's all gonna go away because it's not. Landlords have expenses too. They need to be able to collect the rent or they need to be able to understand exactly what's happening. And same thing with mortgages. You know, banks and lenders, they want their money as well, whether they get it now or later, a lot of them are willing to work with you. But if you don't make the call, they're just going to assume you're not going to pay. And while they can't do evictions and foreclosures now, I promise you that if you don't pay, you don't make arrangements, you don't call anybody, when this ban gets lifted, those evictions and foreclosures will continue to move forward. So it's always in your best interest to be upfront and honest and see what else you can work out from the very beginning. And of course, we have no idea how long this is gonna go on or exactly what's gonna happen afterwards, but I hope that everybody's able to get back on their feet as quickly as possible when this is all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting that subscribe button below and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week and I'll see you on the next one.